Hello everyone, welcome to Aptera Owners Club. In this video, we're going to confirm the batteries that the Aptera is using, at least as of the time of the Kirks Kirsten Dirksen video. So if you go to that video, and this is around 12 minutes and 49 seconds into the video, you see uh, right here, and so it's going to be kind of hard to see on this video, but just go to that video, put it up to 4K resolution, go full screen, and you can read that this says Samsung INR 21750E. Sulfur carbon battery a number of years ago, I started a lithium battery company. These battery cells are the kind of battery cells we've chosen to use for the Aptera. They're called 2170 cells. They've become very ubiquitous. It's so it's a little clearer here. You can see the Samsung INR 21700. So it's a little confusing because they call it, it's written as 21700 and everyone calls them 2170s now. And that's because people have just dropped the last zero when they talk about these lithium um, batteries now. The previous um, common battery was the 18650. That's the battery that's used in a lot of power tools and laptops and was in the original Teslas. And basically the first two numbers note the diameter of the cell in millimeters and the second two numbers are the length of the cell so an 18650 is 18 millimeters in diameter and 65 millimeters in length and a 2170 is 21 uh, millimeters in diameter and uh, 70 millimeters in length which doesn't seem like a big difference it's like three millimeters wider and five millimeters taller but if you do the math which is pi r squared times the height um, to find the volume of the battery. The volume of an 18650 is about 1,600, um, 16,000 millime cubic millimeters, and a 2170 is like 24,000 uh, um, cubic millimeters. And that is a difference of about 50%. So just the three millimeters and the five millimeters in length uh, adds to about 50% more volume, which theoretically adds 50% more capacity. So anyway, if you look at these uh, Samsung batteries, this is the specification sheet of the uh, 21750E, and this is a, f uh, you know, it's a 4900 milliamp hour battery, and um, you know, is a pretty standard good battery. Um, they did a they did a test of it um, on here, and they you know they found that it has nice uh, discharge curves and that uh, it is about 4950 in capacity, which means it's not quite 5,000 milliamp hours, but 4,900 milliamp hours. There are two other versions of this INR2170. They are the 30T and the 70T, which are roughly 3,000 milliamp hours and 4,000 milliamp hours, but it looks like they're using the highest capacity version, which is the 5,000 or 4,900 milliamp hour, depending on how, um, meticulous you want to be about the actual capacity of the thing. Uh, looks like the pr retail price of this thing is about $7.50 per cell, so that's a reasonable price. Um, you know, there's no reason that they're going to be stuck with this Samsung battery. Uh, 2170 cells are uh, like commodity um, battery. You know, Tesla will build them, Panasonic will build them, Samsung will build them, uh, several other companies build them. So they could easily swap them out um, in their battery pack. But it is confirmed, like you know, I was guessing in the previous video, that these are 2170 cells. And um, looks like they're going to go with the standard um, battery chemistry and the, the standard size. So um, it's good to get confirmation of that. And it looks like uh, that's what they'll be using. So if you have any comments or thoughts below, please comment. Love to hear your thoughts. And thanks for watching.